Hello everyone, Ray again. A few weeks ago I uploaded a video showing how I turned inside radius corners into square corners using this right here, the Bridgeport shaping attachment. So today I'm going to show you more about this machine. Alright everyone, a couple of weeks ago when I showed my video showing how I turn inside radius corners into square corners, I uh, was a little too close to the actual workpiece and um, some of the uh, some of you viewers wanted to see more of the machine so I'm gonna make this I'm making this video just so you guys can see it if you see here this is a standard Bridgeport mill uh, nothing special uh, made thousands of these they're all over the place and you can see the standard Bridgeport head uh, this particular mill uh, has the in the casting it has this joint right here Bridgeport had these in the castings so that you could attach one of their uh, different attachments uh, and you can see here's the shop we've got uh, I think throughout the shop we've got about 15 of these mills I'm not I'm not exactly sure how many I'm going I'm gonna guess about 15 in the shop this area here we we'll probably have about eight or nine uh, so uh, this and you can see it right here we call it the slaughter but it is basically a shaper attachment uh, pretty much to be used vertically is how they intended to be used you can see you've got a uh, different uh, bolt pattern there. You can rotate it in different angles, but we use it exclusively vertically. Uh, you can see it's got a very uh, simple motor here, nothing special. Uh, this is the on switch, and you can see how this works up and down. The stroke is adjustable. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, you can see there's nothing really uh, special about it, except it's going up and down, and it's attached to the bridge port. Turn that off. This is obviously an older attachment, so the speed changes are pretty uh, standard you can see here four step pulley and belt uh, right now it's set to the uh, the lowest speed close that up and to adjust the stroke it's on this dial right here see if we can get that into focus might be difficult because of the lighting but you can see this is how you adjust the stroke and uh, it looks like it has a maximum of about four inches of stroke right there four inches of stroke oh uh, you might be able to see that so uh nothing really complicated or special about this attachment i have i for one have never seen one on ebay and you can imagine i'm on ebay a lot uh this one has always been in the shop here my guess is uh my boss picked it up at an auction or uh, as part of something else and we've had it on this mill uh, as far as i can remember uh, so we have so many mills we just leave this one set up here if on a rare occasion we have to uh, use the standard head we'll turn it around but that is that is not often well I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this satisfies the questions that many of you had if you uh, if you're curious about anything else please do put in the comments I read all the comments and please don't forget to subscribe uh, right down here in the bottom left hand corner there's a button that says subscribe uh, just click on that take you right to my page and subscribe and uh, that way you're updated on all my videos. Thanks again for watching.